Then let's bring you up to speed. We searched everywhere and found nothing unusual at all. Based on the previous two mirages, we should have been able to find something that acts as an entrance. Is it possible that the time has not come yet? You mean we should wait a little longer? Yes. Plus, Fischl is still nowhere to be found, and I highly suspect that she's even more eager to find the entrance than we are. So, let's wait. Let's give the mirage... No. Give Fischl... Some more time. There's something on the beach! A book. And next to it is... Hmm? A raven statue? This statue looks a lot like Oz! Why did these two items appear together? Did the raven bring the book here? What's the book about? Is it a diary? Let's see... Hymn of the Holy Land... I... I've never heard of a book by that title. From the cover, it looks like it was written by Fischl herself? That would certainly fit her personality. Hymn of the Holy Land... Interesting. I like it. As a title, it has a sacred ring to it. So, what should we do? Should we touch it? Fischl's still not back. Never mind. Let's head inside first. Once Fischl finds the book, I'm sure she'll be able to catch up with us. Paimon agrees! It's like we're peeping into her diary, so Paimon sure she'll want to come in and stop us. Though this truth has long faded from popular memory, scholars have long known that Prinzessin Fischl von Luftschloss Norfedort first descended upon the world during the time of chaos, roughly 600 years before the era of the saints. What? A narrator? <laughs> we really are inside a book, huh? There's even a narrator telling us the story. Oh no! The path has been cut off! We can't go across! 